Hello and welcome again to Philip's Cop and a chance to show you some of the beautiful flowers of the Feinbos again. Within the Cape Floral Kingdom there are over 9,000 species of plant and here at Philip's Cop we have over 800 of those growing. But it's not the numbers that make the diversity of the Cape Flora so special and unique. It is actually the endemism of the Cape Flora. So of those 9,000 species of plant, over 6,000, two-thirds of the plants are found in the Cape Floral Kingdom and nowhere else. So that means that if we lose them here, we've lost them worldwide. They've gone extinct. So we'll take an opportunity to look at some of those plants today that are special to this part of the world. Here we have Leucodendron salignum, one of the common proteas of the Cape Flora. It's endemic to the Cape Flora but quite widespread, found more or less throughout the range from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town and up to the Cedarburg. This time of year it has these beautiful reddish bracts which surround the developing flower head hidden beneath there. Previous year's flowers are there in the cone, so they're held, the seeds are held within the cone at the base here. It is one of the few members of the Protea family that re-sprouts and of the cone bushes there's only two in the Clane River Mountains that re-sprout, so that really helps you to identify it. To tell that it's a re-sprouting, let's have a look and have a look down at its base. So you can see in there that it's got several stems coming from a central crown. That shows that after a fire it re-sprouted from that protected underground root and produced several new stems. The only other one in the Clain River Mountains is Leucodendron spicifolium, but that's found at much higher altitudes. This is Stebe capitata. It too is endemic to the Cape Flora, but it is quite a widespread species found from across the Southern Cape from almost Port Elizabeth through to Cape Town. It's a member of a daisy family, has these lovely pink little golf balls on the very thin stalks and makes a lovely show uh, in autumn. Its head is a very complicated, even for daisies, which are in, often difficult to interpret. But the head is actually known as a synflorescence. That means that it's an a inflorescence that's made up of lots of smaller inflorescences. So as you see, this ball is made up of lots of individual flowers, but each flower is actually an inflorescence in itself, surrounded by its own bracts. And so each inflorescence actually only has a single flower, but they're conglomerated into a head, which makes it a synflorescence. Stevie capitata. Capitata means a little head. This lovely little autumn bulb is known as Bulbinella trinervis. It is uh, found throughout uh, the southwestern Cape and grows particularly on very shallow soils over rock. So you'll find rock flats with little pockets of soil and then you'll find this flowering. Within the genus Bulbinella it's quite easy to identify because it's one of a few autumn flowering and certainly with white flowers as well. It makes it very distinctive, comes out between March and April each year. At the base is a clump of very grass-like leaves which disappear during the summer months and just turn brown. And here's the new ones coming up in the autumn. 
there is something slightly odd about using the word endemic um, at this time when we are enduring a global pandemic. The origins of the word are the same, but in the world of virology, uh, the term endemic means just slightly different to what we use in the biological uh, world of a Cape flora. So endemic in virology will mean that disease is prevalent in a particular area. In uh, the botanical world, endemic means that that plant is confined to a particular area. But it is not just, um, you can't just say a plant is endemic. You have to qualify it by saying where it's endemic to. So we can say that a plant is endemic to Africa. That's pretty broad scale and the plant is unlikely to be particularly rare. But if we say the plant is endemic to South Africa, then we're narrowing it down. And further, we go to the endemism of the Cape flora itself. But even within the Cape flora, you have endemic to the Western Cape, endemic to the southwestern corner of that, endemic to the Cape Peninsula, or as here, endemic to the Clane River Mountains. And that's where you start to see some of the really special plants when they're called narrow endemics. They're found in a very limited area of just a few square kilometers. And we're fortunate we have some of those here and we can show you some of those as well. Creeping through the Fainbos here we have one of the prostrate pincushions or members of a protea family called Leucospermum prostratum. You can see these lovely little small pincushion protea heads. They start off yellow and quickly fade to an orange colour. Leucospermum prostratum is a, a rare species to the Overberg. It is found from the Kochelberg as far as Elim. So it is endemic to these lower slopes of the Klein River Mountains and the Kochelberg and the Overberg, found on sandy soils. It has this dome shape to the head. This helps distinguish it from a very similar member of the Leucospermum called Leucospermum gracile. Leucospermum gracile, when you look at it at side view, has a, a flat top with the flowers coming up in a sort of turban shape, whereas Leucospermum prostratum is rounded at the top. Here we have Erica Vochelpulii. This is one of the narrow endemics to this area. It is not even found in Fernkloof at Hermanus, 30 kilometers to the west of here. It is found in the eastern Klein River Mountains, uh, but it is particularly common uh, on the slopes of Philipskop itself and often colors hillsides pink with the blooms at this time of year. It's found across the valley and the Akadisberg and up towards Napier, but really that is the extent of its range. Erica Vochelpulii has dense heads of pink flowers held on fine stems which wave very easily in the wind. They are held above the Fainbos and so you are easily able to spot them when they're in flower. The actual flowers fade quite quick in the same way as Erica corifolia, but they have these bright pink bracts and calices that continue to hold the colour even once the flower has faded. Here we have Erica makawani. This is one of the species of Erica that's confined to the southwestern Cape, but it comes in two different subspecies. One subspecies, the makawani itself, is found in the Kochelberg and has red and yellow flowers. But this one, subspecies lanceolata, is endemic 
to the Klain River Mountains. It's only found between here and Hermanus. It uh, has these lovely purple and white flowers which attract sunbirds and it grows in marshy seeps at high altitude, often forming quite a mass, so it's not uncommon. If you find the right habitat you will find this growing here, but it is confined to the Klain River Mountains. It looks very similar to another species called Erica perspicua, sometimes known as Prince of Wales Heath due to the colouring, but this is a larger flowers and a slightly hairier, wider tubed as well. Makawani, Erica Makawani. So thank you again for joining me out in the Fainbos and we hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the special and endemic plants that we have here at Phillips Cop and in the Cape Flora. I hope you'll be able to join me next time as we look at some more of those plants which are unique to this part of the world. Thanks for watching.